Hey, how's it going? Good news today. I uh, had a COVID test, about the fifth or sixth one I've had. This one was the worst because they stuck the stick down the back of my throat and then they stuck one up each nostril. So it was like, I look kind of amusing to, to most. Um, but it's negative again, which I don't know how people catch it because I seem to go anywhere and avoid it wherever I go. So saying that, I'll probably get it next place. Um, so that's good news. So there's nothing holding me back. I booked my flight to Dubai for Wednesday and I booked a, a place to stay down on Sheikh Zayed Road where I lived a couple of times. It's a good area, lots of good places to, it's got the best bars in Dubai in my opinion and the best uh, uh, choice of restaurants as well. So, and the apartment's big. So I've got like a fridge and a kitchen, so I'm going to self-cater a bit because I'm going to try and be a povo for the next five months and save every cent I can so I can stay away from the workplace for as long as possible. So it's all going well. I've just got to book some travel insurance. It won't cover COVID, but uh, you, you can't get that anywhere. But it will cover me for everything else, and it's reasonably priced. Uh, travel insurance in the UK is better than Australia from that perspective. So I'm just sort of looking out the window. It's kind of grey out there, but it's, there's no snow or anything, so that's all cool. Um, and I kind of I've, I've enjoyed my time in Dublin, and uh, I'll be coming back um, later in the year. And Shane and I are going to try and put a van together so that I can live in that when I move around the rest of the. Africa and Europe and Asia. I might even drive to Malaysia and, and send it back to Australia at the end, but we'll see what happens. Uh, so that's that's pretty much it for today. So I'm happy. So it's time to move on. You know, I should be in this time a week. I'll be in Dubai about six six days, I think, maybe less. Um, and then I'll head down to to Cape Town which I won't be staying there very long. I'm about to book a flight from Cape Town to Namibia. I've spoken to somebody in Namibia and in a hostel there. They're open, which is good news because that keeps costs down. Africa is expensive generally, especially countries like Botswana and uh, Zimbabwe. They're, they're kind of built for package high spending tourists rather than people trying to go everywhere and keep their prices down. I could do that, but I don't want to if I don't have to. Um, so the Namibia thing, uh, I've spoken to someone there about hiring a car. I've just got to put a quick itinerary together for Namibia and send it to her so she can give me some advice on what's the best way to, to see that country. I'm not going to rush. I don't need to rush. So it's good news. So I think I'll probably spend three or four nights getting drunk with the boys in Dubai and then head on down to... Uh, Africa where I'm going to go off the booze and the bread no carbs no booze for three months and see if that gets rid of my my, my double chin and my big belly which is an unfortunate unfortunately a symptom of lockdown for a year okay so that's all good I'm really happy about that and it's time to uh, to get moving I just got to pack a bag I started packing I just got to put all my old clothes in there so I can throw them out as they fall apart um, that's good. So, I've got a couple more nights here. I, I've enjoyed my time here. I must admit, Ireland's a pretty relaxed place. It'd be great. It would have been much, much better if the pubs were open because then I could just go out and live a normal life like everyone else. And I've been unfortunate that I haven't been able to do that. But as I said, I'll be back here in, in June probably. So we can, uh, uh, do all that stuff then hopefully. They're not still locked down. I just, so many countries don't know how to manage this thing. Like I was talking to a friend in Canada and they have no idea. They balls it up there, they balls it up here. They, the UK is a mess. Um, anyway, enough of that. Okay, so it's all good news. I'm about to head off in a couple of days time. So I'm ecstatic. This, I think the next next time I do one of these, it'll probably be in, uh, in, uh, in uh, Dubai. Because I expect that Thursday and Friday night will be big nights. Then everyone goes back to work and then I'll, I'll just you know do what I have to do. There's a few things I have to do in Dubai to tidy up, like 
close bank accounts. Um, a few things I need to buy. I need to get another camera because mine's fucked. And uh, I need to um, get another COVID test. I'm going to have to get a COVID test in every one of those eight countries. So it's going to be an endless line of COVID tests over the next three or four months. Okay, that's it. Have a good one. Talk to you soon.